everybody, Miss Rachel here. I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. Um, this will be kind of like our first test of a virtual Triumph Thursday um, cooking session. So I wanted to do that because one of the things I miss the most about being at school with you guys is our Triumph Thursday cooking classes. And I remembered that you guys loved when we made guacamole. So I'm just gonna do a quick and easy guacamole and um, hopefully you guys will be able to make it at home with your family. So I have all of my ingredients prepared already and I'm just gonna kind of um, cut up my avocados. I have two that I've cut in half. So I'm going to cut them just like this. You can kind of do it however you want to, but you just wanna cut it up a little bit so that you can get it out and put it into your bowl. So then I just use my fork to scoop it out. Okay, there's one. And these avocados, oops, were perfectly ripe, almost, we didn't want them to get too ripe though, so we put them in the refrigerator. And that is a really good way if you have avocados and you are worried you won't be able to use them in time to make sure that they stay fresh. All my avocado is cut up and in my bowl. Now let's look at the other ingredients I have. So I like to put a little bit of tomato in mine, not a, too much, but just to kind of add some color and because I love tomato. So I chopped my tomato up. I'm gonna put that in. I like to use a little onion. I know not everyone likes onion, but I have some chopped white onion so that it's not, you know, too strong. And I'm gonna put some of that in. I think when we made it at school, some of you chose to use onion and some of you chose not to. And the thing that's fun about guacamole is that if there's an ingredient that you don't like, you just don't have to use it. It's up to you. Um, this is some chopped jalapeno. We have some nice jalapeno here and I chopped it up. I think we also gave ourselves the choice when we made it all together about whether it would be spicy or not. And then my last ingredient is my cilantro. So this is all some really nice, beautiful cilantro that I just chopped up a little bit. I probably won't use all of this, but I'll just put in as much as seems appropriate. And what else? Last thing I need to add is my lime juice. I like mine to be pretty good and limey. Again, that is a personal choice, but I am going to use a half of a lime in this. So that was one quarter. Here's another quarter. looks delicious and fresh. And then the last ingredient I need to add is a pinch of salt. Oops, my lime fell in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt. I don't wanna use too much, just a little bit. And then I'm going to mix it all up. Like I said, the thing that's fun about guacamole is that if there's something that you don't love, that you don't wanna use, that's totally okay and it's kind of just up to you. So as I'm mixing it up a little bit, I'm gonna use my fork to kind of like crush the avocado. I don't like it to be totally crushed, but I also, I like it to be like somewhere kind of in the middle. And again, that's really up to you. One thing that some people like to put in their guacamole is a little bit of garlic or you could use some garlic powder if you don't feel like cutting up the garlic. Um, sometimes I like to do that, sometimes I don't, just depends on what kind of mood I'm in. And I think that we are pretty much done. So at my house tonight, we are having veggie burritos for dinner and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to make a nice bowl of guacamole and share it with you guys. 
just in case anybody is interested. And I guess I should do a quick taste test now that it's all mixed up. Delicious.